What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my takeaways from the Sheila Ford Hamp introductory press conference. Let's get it started. Welcome in everybody to another video. I'm glad you guys are here and today I'm giving you my takeaways from this press conference that the Detroit Lions YouTube channel put out today. Now yesterday we talked about her press conference a little bit okay. I had a few things to tell you guys about what she has said as the Detroit Lions new owner. If you don't know who Sheila Ford Hamp is and you're a little bit behind she is now the Detroit Lions new owner. The Detroit Lions new owner yes big news Martha Ford stepped down and her daughter Sheila Ford Hamp has taken over as the Lions owner. So I watched the entire interview initially I was just going to watch it with you guys and react to it but I was like okay well one a lot of the stuff I kind of talked about not a lot of it but somebody talked about yesterday and two it's very very long and I think there's some things in here that are just kind of like honestly us fans really don't care that much and I'm just I'm just being honest I'd rather just give you guys the things yeah you want to hear what do you want to hear that's what I'm gonna give you guys today okay if you guys want to hear it all you can go watch it but if I write down everything that she says everyone's the whole point of the video we might as well just go through the major takeaways the things that I think you guys will want to know so let's hop right into it. So the first thing we have is expectations. She has the same expectations that she had when Martha Ford was the owner. So when Martha Ford was the owner of the Lions, we know there was a letter put out. There was expectations for Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn going into year three. And she said that the expectations have not changed. The expectations are the same as they were before. And they expect, they expect to be an improved team's and she threw in this little nugget. I caught it, Sheila. Don't the hey, you can't get by me. She threw this one and she thinks they will get there. Okay. So she didn't just say we expect to be improved and just left it there. She said we expect to be improved next season. And she thinks they will be improved. Sheila Ford sounds very, very confident, confident with the Detroit Lions roster and their staff and what they're building and the path that they are on. She's very, very confident there. Now, she's not super confident about the season. She's really hoping that there is a season. I hope there is as well. However, she seems to be very, very confident with the moves the Lions have made, with players they brought in and everything like that. So that's a great sign. I love it. She likes what it looks like on paper. We'll get to that in a second. And so do I. So, hey, we got something in common already. And actually, that was my next point. She said she likes the offseason moves and additions that they made on paper. She likes what it looks like on paper, but she hasn't got to meet any of the players yet because obviously everything's virtual. So, hey, me and you, Sheila, we got something in common already. Me and the Lions owner have something in common. We both love what the Detroit Lions have done at this offseason on paper. I mean, I really think they improved at nearly every single position. And uh, even in the locker room, I think they have a lot better fits. She likes it as well. And uh, she, she just has a lot of confidence team. I love it, man. She sounds like she really believes like this team could be really, really good. Foundation built for now and the future. That there is no hit list for changes. Okay, now she used hit list. It's kind of a weird way to put it. So I, I had to just like, hey, that's quotes. Hit list is quotes. She said that, not me. Anyway, she said there's no hit list for changes um, because people were asking her, hey, is there any major changes you're going to make as a Lions new owner? And I think as things come up, obviously, you know, you got to make changes. Things are going to happen. But right now, she said there's really no major things she wants to touch upon. We'll get into a few things that she did touch. But at this point in the interview, she said there's really nothing major that I'm coming in with that I need to make this thing happen. And things will just happen as they happen, right? Things will happen as they come along and she'll make, she'll make things happen. She'll make decisions. She's not coming in with any ideas or things that she must get done. So I thought I would just point that out there. It was just, it was just an interesting thing to say. But hey, I mean, everybody's been asked questions. She's also only been the owner for like a day and a half. So there's not much that she could have done by now. But I just, hey, I'll point it out there for you guys. She also says, if the coaches and the general manager, Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, are open all right, and think it's a good idea to bring in a Colin Kaepernick, I will be behind them. I will support them in that decision. So it's not that she's going out there and saying, hey, let's go sign Colin Kaepernick, because I know some people probably look at it like that by some of the titles that are put out there. She's not saying, hey, let's go sign Colin Kaepernick. All right. She's not saying that. She is saying that if the general manager and the coach think it's a good idea to go get him, I'll be behind them. I'll support them. And that's probably how it should be, right? If you hire these guys, if you believe in these guys to turn your organization around to to win you football games and they're like hey we gotta go get this guy you gotta be behind him on that unless it's something crazy unless they're like hey you know go bring in those yeah and then i'd be like oh snap don't do it don't do it and she's like oh i ain't behind on that one like, come on sheila you want to go okay this this has got really weird why why did we get to this what but let's get let's get back to the video. So no, this does not mean we are signing Colin Kaepernick, but it does mean that hey, if Bad Patricia and Bob Quinn think it's a good idea too, then she would be behind it. They just have to ask that question because that is a very popular player right now. Now let's continue with the takeaways. The next thing that she says is that we guarantee we are upset when we lose. So someone actually asked this question, and I loved it. I was not expecting this. Someone asked the question. How do you feel when you lose games? She said, I think the fans want to know that you are upset when you lose games. That way you're really taking this thing seriously. And she says she can guarantee that she is upset. We are the most upset people when we lose football games. So, I mean, I'm assuming she wasn't going to say, yeah, no, we're good with it. Hey, 
What the L? I give me the L. I, I, I take L's every day. No, I'm stupid. She's not going to say something like that. Again, that was just an interesting question. So I had to write it down because I was not expecting someone to ask her that question. But she says she hates to lose and she is trying their best to change the win and loss record, which I hope they can because our win loss record historically hasn't been very good and recently hasn't been very good either. So hopefully they can turn that thing around. Um, but I, I'm confident. You know, I believe in these guys. I believe Matt Patricia. I believe in Bob Quinn. And uh, I believe in our new owner. I think our new owner's got that passion. She seems, she seems to really like this team, man. She seems to be very, very into this team. And maybe that's just because now she's a new general man. Uh, not general manager. Now because she's a new owner of the Lions just recently. But man, she seems to really be confident in this team. So that's great. I love it. You're confident. I'm confident. Hey, I've said that before on a Madden video. Uh, she says the path to success is having consistency. The path to being a winning organization is consistency. They're on the right path to be successful because of the leadership that they have and the additions that they made. But she says to be a winning organization, you it's all about consistency. It's all about being cons being consistent. And consistency for her is like in the front office, you know, having consistent coaches, having finding the right group of the guys putting them together, making them mesh well, and having those guys stay together and continue to work together and build a system. And she brought up the New England Patriots. She had to bring up the Patriots. Come on, man. We, hey, if it ain't Patriots, it's not a Lions interview. <laughs> I'll play it. But seriously, um, yeah, she says all about consistency. And I agree with that. You know, I agree with that as I look back on it. You know, I think that's what you got to do. Once you believe you found the right people, if you don't think they're the right people, it doesn't mean, hey, just keep them around because we need to be consistent. Heck no. If you're consistent and you don't like the guys that are here, get them out. But once you find guys that you think can be successful, like Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn, and you believe in these guys, if you believe in them, keep them around. Let them do their thing, okay? Let's see Let's see what they, this can turn into because we know the Lions historically have not been a team that consistently keeps coaches and general managers around. And maybe that's because, one, they haven't found the right ones ever, or two, because they haven't got given them a chance. So it looks like they're going to give a chance here with Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. Definitely for year three. We'll see about future years. Uh, but obviously, like she said, we need major improvement. He's hoping that things start to pull together and things start to gel in year three. You know, things start to really come together. And she really likes the team, though. She says it's a very competitive team she's just hoping in year three it starts to come together so that's talking about Matt Patricia Bob Quinn my bad Bob Quinn's been here like five or going on six years or is he going on five years he's been here two years longer so he's going on to his he's going on to his sixth year no, no, he's going on to his fifth year. That's that's bad math. He's going on to his fifth year. My fault. All right, so let's continue this thing. She says uh, major improvement is the goal. Major improvement is the goal. She just didn't touch on exactly what the major improvement was. She didn't say it's win or loss. She didn't say that because she thinks the seasons could be weird. She also didn't touch on what it needs to be like statistically. She just said we need major improvement as a whole. And, you know, she may look into that deeper, you know, as things go on, depending on what the season looks like. But right now she hasn't said anything specifically. I don't know if she ever will tell us specifically what she thinks the major improvement has to be. But that's just what I thought it was. And she'll probably never put a win-loss on it on it like that I don't think a ever owner would do that and just say hey if you don't get seven wins you're gone no matter what because there's too many factors uh, but yes major improvement is her goal she plans to be very involved and informed to make good decisions at the top now this is something that's very interesting in her final message to the Lions fans which we'll get to in one second she says that she plans to be more involved than her mother was and her dad was okay she wants to be more involved she wants to learn more about the organization I agree you got to know about the organization you at least got to have a general idea about what is going on in your organization at every single part to make good decisions if you don't know exactly what's going on and who's there and the people involved you're probably not going to make the best decisions and that's when bad decisions are made so for her to say you know hey i'm going to be more involved than my mother was and than my father would have been so hey i love that i love that definitely get involved i love having a hands-on owner i think that is the best type of owner that attitude all right that spirit that faith that confidence and then obviously interacting with your players or coaches is great okay that is exactly what we need in detroit for sure and she said they made joint decisions she said the joint decisions, you know, are made with multiple people, obviously, like when they make a decision to go sign someone or when they talk about big major decisions, obviously they get everybody together. So her, her mother, Martha Ford and Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. However, she also mentioned that people involved were her two sisters, her brother. So her siblings are also involved in making decisions. We've never really talked about that before. I don't even know where her siblings are, to be honest with you. But now, apparently, she has a brother and two sisters. And those people are involved in making some of their major decisions. And uh, those people, her mother, her, two, her brother, and her two sisters, and herself, were all involved in making the decision to bring back Matt, Patricia, and Bob Quinn. So I can understand why they're involved in that. I just thought it was interesting because I've never, never really heard about them. So, hey, there you go. I thought I'd point that out. And her final message to the fan was this. Uh, every I'm going to do everything in my power to create a winning organization on the field because the fans deserve it. Yes, sir, we do. Fans, fan team, stand up. No, let's let's not go there. Hey, 
but we understand we need a winning organization, okay? We want to be good. We want to be consistent. We want to be winners, man. We want to change the narrative of Detroit. We want to turn this whole ship around, and uh, she wants to do that as a Detroit Lions owner, and I, I believe in it. I believe it can happen. I think Matt Patricia and Bob, and Bob Quinn can take us places we've never been in Detroit, right? Take us to places we've never seen. We've seen the bad. We've seen some good, but we haven't seen great, and I think those guys can take us there, and I also think, you know, with new owners, you know, she seems like she's really involved, and she has confidence in this much faith. You can do anything with faith, so I believe that you know this could actually go somewhere so i have a lot of confidence if you guys watch the interview let me know in the comments what some takeaways you took away takeaways that you took away and uh yeah well it's jenny here let me know your thoughts comments below thank you for watching and i'm out